Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading. Um, I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I love you all so much. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, my beautiful loves. So let's see what we have here for my beautiful Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Sagittarians, please, Holy Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know today, please, Holy Spirit? Love messages, clarity, and guidance for my beautiful Sagittarians, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Tell me about Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We've got the Devil card, more Capricorn energy. We have the Seven of Wands. We've got the Four of Cups. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, there's, this could be your energy, by the way, it could be energy in or around you. So this could be your energy. It could be uh, the energy of someone close to you. So take it as it resonates. Okay. Um, Sag, I feel like there's this energy of you're just not really sure what's going on with the situation. I feel like you're just feeling lonely. You're feeling bored. You're, you don't know what is really happening here. Okay. With the seven of wands and the devil card, I feel like you don't want to deal with something that is very toxic, but at the same time, at the same time, if you stay committed to this relationship, there's no emotional connection here. So the King of Pentacles could be a representation of a husband, a father, a mother, a wife. We don't read gender in tarot, okay? So this could be a representation of somebody here wanting to stay in a connection um, for their kids or for financial reasons. Um, not really because there's love in the relationship. Do you understand? If anything, there's a tremendous amount of toxicity. Um, somebody here could be a gambler. They could be a drinker. They could be a drug addict. They could just be very abusive. They can be a cheater, a liar, a, you know, very prideful, living in the ego, you know. Um, the devil card could represent anything. And I feel like what we have here is someone that just really doesn't want to deal with that. But at the same time, there's an energy of, you know, do I want to be alone or do I want to be in a relationship where there's no love, but at least I'm not alone? Does that make sense, guys? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so it could be, this could be a representation of staying in a connection for your children or staying in a connection because you simply don't want to be alone or staying in a connection for financial reasons. Like if someone here is debating, you know, do I want to do all this alone and by myself and be bored or do I want to kind of wing it with this person even though the love isn't there anymore? So even though the love isn't there anymore, at least those, they're stable and they're always there. Do you see what I'm saying? That That's the type of energy that I'm feeling here. Like at least I know this person, I'm comfortable with this person. So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Sagittarians. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, the Empress in the Reverse, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian, Energy. So Sag, here's what I'm feeling. I feel like there was a possible separation between you and somebody. And someone here is talking to a lot of people, but not to anybody that wants to like get married or have a family or have kids or start a life. You know, someone here is just dealing with, you know, maybe younger kid, younger people, people that are younger, or maybe people that are just very immature and not really ready to settle down. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like someone thought that the grass might be greener somewhere else and they're feeling very like bored. They're feeling bored of the options that are coming towards them because nobody really wants a serious commitment. Okay. Someone here just wants to like, you know, someone here is dealing with people that just want to juggle or play games, be immature. Tell me about the seven of wands and the four of pentacles. Tell me about the devil, please. Tell me about the devil for Sag. 
and the tower, Aries Scorpionic energy. So Sag, I feel here that there's a sense of truly not wanting to give to a situation. Someone here may be very selfish. Someone here may have hidden money and not shared it. Um, that could only be for one person. That's not going to be for everybody. But I feel like with the devil card and the tower, I feel like perhaps somebody found out something. Somebody here was maybe keeping something to themselves and someone here found out something and it just kind of rocked this relationship, okay? With the five of swords here, I feel like maybe someone here was, um, someone here possibly sabotaged the connection because of what they found out. Like someone here just kind of like left, walked away, said, listen, I don't want anything to do with you. Don't forget the five of swords also talks about a, an empty victory. So someone here may have found out something and went into like an explosive rage or got really upset right off the bat and said, you know what? I want you out. I want to leave. I don't want to do this. And you know, someone here maybe did something too quickly and now they're looking back and regretting it. Do you see what I'm saying? Tell me about the King of Pentacles here. We've got the Six of Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Tell me about the Eight of Cups here. The Eight of Cups for Sagittarius and the Wheel of Fortune. So here's what's interesting. I feel, Sag, that, um, I feel like even though this person maybe has some form of stable stability or comfort, okay, about them, that they're always there, kind of, with the Six of Wands in the reverse, it's like, I'm no longer proud to be with you. Um, there's no longer any pride with being by your side. Like, someone here is just embarrassed or ashamed of the situation, and I feel like someone here at the end of the day is like, you know what, I'm good all by myself. I'm going to go towards my new beginning. I feel like someone is being divinely guided to walk away from a situation and it really does make sense such because i feel like someone stayed in this connection or you know whether that was you or your person simply because of finances because it was comfortable because they didn't want to be alone you know what i'm saying everything other than the real reasons as to why a relationship should stay together do you see what i'm saying so i feel like you know there's a sense of like i just don't want to be there, there's just no winning in this connection i don't see any victory in this connection you have some good qualities maybe you're a good father maybe you're a good mother but at the end of the day i need to go walk away and start something new okay so so we have the eight of pentacles under the deck we've got the knight of swords aquarius gemini libra energy and we have the two of cups so i feel like what's happening here is somebody is really working on trying to get into a new connection quickly someone here may be online flirting with people talking to people but look how many pages page of swords page of wands page of pentacles you see what i'm saying so i i feel like someone here doesn't want to go back to the king of pentacles okay they don't want to go back to the king of pentacles maybe someone here doesn't want to lower their pride and apologize that's possible too okay but i feel like someone's putting a lot of work into getting into a relationship quickly like someone here just wants to move into a new relationship quickly and they're having trouble finding somebody to settle down with because they're going from a king of pentacles to nothing but pages very immature energies you see what i'm saying very immature energies so it's almost like someone's like saying you know i don't want you anymore but i want to jump into something else really quickly so that i'm not alone or you know whatever reason that kept us together satch let's just say someone didn't want to be alone or someone you know uh needed financial help or some you know whatever the case may be someone here wants to find someone new to replace that so that they don't have to suffer being alone or being financially unstable do you understand so but they're not finding it they're not for they're putting all their work into finding this new connection but i don't see that happening you know what i'm saying so someone is being divinely guided to walk away but i i don't know if someone's going to really be excited about the grass being greener on the other side okay all right guys i love you all so very much and i will see you soon bye loves